Welcome back to another tutorial by GameDevXR. What we're going to do today is we're going to follow on from the mirror tutorial that we've done last and look at how we can actually improve performance when using the planar reflection. So as you can see here, I've moved it. What I've done is I've made a little room. So it's just in here. Because what I want to show you is that with the planar reflection in the viewport using control shift and colon we can open up the GPU profile and actually see that the planar reflections taken up almost two milliseconds worth of time when in the editor but if I close it down and then we go out it's not actually rendering anymore this is because it's been occluded which is a good thing to do so if, if you can keep your planar reflection out of view or in a small room where it's not rendering much then you're pretty good for performance but a good way of improving it a little bit more is if you actually go to the planar reflection so we'll search it here line up and then on the right I recommend actually disabling every frame because you don't really need it if you do it on movement then it will only happen when you're actually in the viewport actually what we'll do is we'll get baseline so oh so it's gone up to four so we've already got four milliseconds there so I'll make a note of that and then we can compare it. So we've got 3.9 milliseconds on the planar reflection just from being in the viewport. What we can do is we can actually disable capture every frame. And if I scroll this back up, so this is what you'll see when you load it in. My screen percentage is at 100% because I'm trying to get the most resolution out of it. But you can see that we can actually lower that down and reduce the quality a little bit this will also help so I'll set it to default and we'll keep it there and in the scene capture component what we want to do is go to the drop down and you'll have these tabs so in these tabs there are actually rendering options for what you see in the scene and we can actually go through and disable the ones that aren't needed so you can see we're using BSPs so we need that one on uh, we don't have any decals, we don't have any fog, there's no landscape particle sprites etc. We are using skeletal meshes however for the hands as part of the VR character so we need to keep that on and static mesh we need that so we can see the sky uh, translucency we've got no transparency so no windows or anything like that so we don't need it so basically we just go through and remove what it is we don't need so we need reflection so we can get the nice detail Yeah, we need lighting and yeah, post process we don't seem to be using that so we can drop that down so you can see nothing's actually changed but we've disabled a lot within the viewport and if I open it back up we're now down to 1.10 milliseconds which is a massive drop compared to 3.9 we had a minute ago so we can go through and open it back up in here see it's not there because it's been occluded and inside it's back so a good way to do it is, if you do need to use a planar reflection, keep it on its own, sort of segregated within a room, which you can then use to allow the player to enter or exit. This will reduce any issues with a shader count. Um, if you've got big environments, it's recommended not really to use it, especially for open worlds. However, people have done it and it does work, but it just it's a lot of finesse and trying to get it optimized so games like Ark Survival have actually used it for their water so they use it in their oceans you can see it's like a little pop effect when you get so high um, I've used it at work as well to create an ocean just give some nice reflections um, but yeah that, that's pretty much it you've just got the settings down the side uh, disable capture every frame go through and untick what it is you need um, yeah screen percentage we can probably put that back up actually because we're we're getting oh maybe not <laughs> so you can see how much of a difference some small little things make so it's a big difference we're, we're bouncing around a little bit but it's better than the original that was there and if i go into the scene and we go over to it you'll see that when we go there 
but you still got everything. You can still see yourself, the hands, the world. You're not missing anything. Uh, there's some shadows missing, which we can enable back in. But it's pretty much up to you how you use this and how you want to go around refining it. But I highly recommend going through the settings, selecting what it is you need, and only keeping the stuff you really, really need. That way, you're reducing as much of a performance hit as possible, and you're getting the most out of your project in the long run. Um, another piece of advice is if you can, wait till the very end of your build before adding planar reflections in, because it can lag out the editor, which can cause issues when creating your project, and you'll find that it might be a draw where you don't actually need the planar reflections to make your, your scene look good or your world look just as nice and often players can usually ignore it or get past it There's, that's one way of doing it so yeah I still mirrored the like, camera up here somewhere so yeah so I hope you enjoyed that I hope it was useful and I hope it helps someone so if there's anything you want to see leave a, a like comment and drop something down below if, if there is something specific you want to see I can add it to the list we can work on it and see where we go from there I'm thinking the next step we might look at either blocking the headset from going through walls which you can actually do through the base one which isn't very good or creating an interactive me interactive menu such as a watch so we can then control different things so activate playing our reflection or create a sentence menu so we'll see how it goes from there hope you're all good hope you have a good one drop a comment below if there's anything you want to see and i'll get on it let's we'll see what we can do the world is ours and we have plenty of space to work in and performance now so we're pretty good to go so yeah. Bye.